I'll just say this in both. We had an appointment at 1230, and so we are going to get started. Um, this class is short and sweet, and it is completely made up by me. So if you don't like it, just tell me. Um, yeah, there's this thing in Keller Williams that I just feel like people don't even know exists. So let me start out by asking the question. How many of you know what the Keller Williams opportunity map is? I don't know. I know what it looks like. Was this, was this that day I was at when I raised my hand and asked, what's the opportunity? So now I'm teaching the class for Jason. No, I'm just kidding. Did I cause this? I'm sorry. No, here's the thing. Until I became an employee of Keller Williams, I didn't know it existed either. Jared and I beat our head against walls walking through this map that I'm going to show you. By being entrepreneurial, by being passionate, we didn't even know this thing existed, and it did exist. So my uh, hope and dream is that I show it to you so you can get there way faster than Jared and I did, okay? Um, so there is something called the Keller Williams Opportunity Map. Um, and before I share, you know, the big aha and show it to you, um, I wanted to ask some questions to kind of see where we're starting. You know, you don't know, you can't know where you're going until you at least know where you are starting. So when you think about Keller Williams and opportunities, I want you to just shout out and online, this is for you. This is an interactive class, okay? Um, and on the room and on, in the room and online, when you think of Keller Williams and opportunities, shout out, what comes to mind? Ownership. 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 Growth partners. Growth partners. Passive income. Passive income. Leadership opportunities. Leadership opportunities. As in, like in a market center. Yeah. What other leadership opportunities? Maps coach, bold coach. Maps coach, bold coach. Okay. Yeah, KWI, absolutely. Regional, Regional leadership. Instructor. Yeah, to be a Keller Williams University instructor, a market center instructor, a market center tech trainer. Um, what about? I mean, we have 175,000 business owners within our company. What about leadership on a team within an organization? Um, Brooke on our team. Okay, sorry. Um, Brooke on our team, she is a business partner with us. Like she has a leadership position within the Rutherford group, our, our team. So what, what else comes to mind? Online, how about you guys? So some of this can be a little bit of a distraction. I mean, I'm sort of positive then that you're Yeah, no, 100%. What else? Uh, what else? We're going to hit, I'm glad you brought that up. We're going to hit on that. Uh, hey, Sam, later in a slide, um, because there's one main thing you can't ever lose sight of, okay? And that's part of what we're gonna talk about today, okay? So the KW opportunity map, um, here's what I'd like to go. You name some things, some places on the map, okay? Before we really dive deep into this, tell me, where are you going? What do you wanna use Keller Williams to act as a vehicle or a roadmap to get you someplace? Where are you going? Shout it out. This is a safe environment. Home. Say it again. Home. Retirement. Home. Wealth. Love it. Change lives. To change lives. That's yeah. And whose lives can you change through the KW? Well, really, everyone, really, my focus is going to be on women, women that have gone through struggles. I'm not going to get into that, you know. Yeah. But that's, that's. Well, a better place to have a platform of, of 175,000 people to connect with. Exactly. Yeah. Um, where Where else are you going to leverage Keller Williams to go? Multiple streams of okay, multiple streams of income. I love it. What are they? Um, well, for me right now, it's selling. Good. Love it. Okay, good. I'm glad you answered that pretty quickly because that's the point of today is it is a distraction when it's all just up here rolling around. It's not a distraction. It's actually empowerment when you say, 
these are the three or four things that I'd like to go after in Keller Williams, and here's my plan to get there. Okay, and the leadership team in this market center wants to partner with you to map that out and say, here's my recommended first step. Here's what you need to do first, master that, and then we're going to layer this on and then layer this on and layer this on. Okay, um, so anyone else want to bravely share where you're going? How about you guys online? Curtis, how do I see how many people are online? So I know if I'm talking to one Over person. Down the bottom, I, see your I don't have a number. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 11. Okay. There's 11 of you. Where are you guys going? Or did you already get there? <laughs> I'm so full of good corny jokes. It's just getting started. All right, so when I looked at this map and I thought, what's the best way to teach it? Okay, the best way to teach it for me is, I'm just gonna walk you through the map the way that Jared and I did it without a map. Who wants to sing the Dora song? <laughs> People with young children get it. Dora the Explorer, it's the map, it's the map. Okay, sorry, I won't, I won't. Um, so this is the actual Keller Williams University um, opportunity map, okay? And I'm gonna walk you through the, the path that Jared and I took to get here, okay? So I thought it would be so apropos to include my first ever business card. Oh, Jordis, yours had hair, so you might wanna slow down a little bit, friend. <laughs> All right, so um, that shot was actually taken in my backyard from a friend on her camera, and I'm doing the realtor pose, but I really thought I nailed it, okay? <laughs> so we started out as real, as real estate agents. Uh, year number one, we uh, sold 25 houses. Year number two, 54 houses. And I mean, the year one, we both were dual career, both working full time. We kept popping out kids. I mean, it was a wild time. And you said something in the hallway, you said there's just so much, there's so much information, there's so many classes, there's so much, and kind of like you feel like right now, um, Jared and I just went to every class that we could, took the thing so that we could start to get the bigger picture of what's going on, okay? Now I say that little caveat, don't go to everything and do nothing. We were lead generating like animals every single day, and going to the classes to kind of feel our way out in the dark, okay? So first up is agent. So we started to really kind of master this agent thing. From the agent, we then built the team, okay? Year two, we hired a buyer's agent, we hired an admin, and we started to walk the path of the MREA agent, okay? Realistically, at that time, we were only thinking about selling real estate and, oh, cool, profit share. Like there's another benefit thing that I'm not even thinking much about, okay? So year two, we're selling real estate, okay? Year number uh, two, we also have a little green check mark, Agent Leadership Council, okay? Jared and I said, hey, we wanna serve this market center that has made our teacher paycheck and firefighter paychecks look a lot better, okay? We wanna serve on the ALC. So uh, Jared and I were both on the ALC, okay? Agent Leadership Council. We're growing our team at the same time we're growing growing profit share okay somewhere in that third year i kind of got that unsettling feeling of is this the only thing i'm supposed to be doing is there more that i should be doing okay um i had taken bold um again and again and again and again and by the way bold is back in august who's going Look at that, success leaves clues. KW Opportunity Map class, almost everyone raise their hands. Jordan's giving me the eyeball, I'm looking too. I'm just staring, we're just staring. Hey, online we're staring at you too. So we kept taking bold uh, over and over, my husband and I, and um, sitting in that bold room, I remember sitting in that first bold room thinking, oh, I wanna help people like this. This person's inspiring me and changing my life in such a crazy big way. And then at the time, we called it a drunk monkey. At the time, my drunk monkey said, I can't do that. You don't know anything. You're new at this. There's no way. Stop. You're crazy. Well, kept going back. 
getting the confidence, getting rid of limiting beliefs, and bold became um, our, our another bucket for Jared and I, okay? And here's what I want you, if you have something to write with or if you're taking notes on your uh, notes on your um, iPhone, everything that I want you to think about today is an and, is an and, not an or. Okay, so Sam, like when you're building wealth, it's not in replacement of your real estate business. I took bold, I know what to mean. It's an and. Jordis, when you chose to step into leadership and we walked in this direction, what was one of the first questions I asked you? What's the plan? Yeah. What's the plan? Because when you're truly building wealth, and we're gonna talk about that in a second, it is lots of and buckets that are all filling simultaneously and you are growing massive wealth, okay? Um, so uh, Agent Leadership Council, which then led into BOLD, which is actually over like on the KWU University, there was two things happening at the same time. Uh, market Center faculty, okay? So how many of you would like to go into teaching for KWU or BOLD or something like that, okay? You know where you start that? Look around at these four walls. That's where it starts, right here. Sharing ideas, leading masterminds, saying, Morgan, how can I share at the team meeting? Jordan, how can I share? Broker Jeff, can I hop in your contract class and help talk about how I'm leveraging the contract? Okay, it starts right here. So uh, we started out as, or I started out as a market center trainer which then I took, trained the trainer, trained the presenter, and became a Keller Williams University approved trainer. Another stream of income, I can travel to places, and for the rate that I charge is $2,500 a day. I can go and teach a few business planning clinics this fall, which I truly enjoy and love. Boom, $10,000. There's another bucket. Helping the family. What investment property are we gonna buy, okay? Um, where's bold? Why am I not seeing it? It's there. Oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm like, oh, look, it's the, with the picture of me in a bold room. Thank you. Um, so those two things were happening at the exact same time. Um, training at the market center, becoming an approved faculty member through Keller Williams University was at the same time that I was auditioning to be a bold coach. Okay. Um, bold, if you want to know anything about that, you can go to baboldcoach.com and all the criteria is right there, okay? Um, so bold became an and. I was signing 10 to 15 listings a month, traveling on the road for bold. It was a wild season. Um, I quickly found my replacement for bold, for, for listings because I started kind of rocking in a corner <laughs> and I was about as frazzled as one human being uh, could be at that time and found my replacement so that bold became an and. It was another stream of income. Uh, coaching and teaching, another stream of income, okay? Around the same time, because of the rooms I kept putting myself in. So that's another reason you're taking bold is because you're in the room with the right people, had some great relationships form uh, with other top agents. And we actually in 2018 launched our own title company in Tampa Bay. Okay, myself and, and another top agent and an attorney. Okay, never would have happened if I wasn't in, in that type of room, pushing and growing and thinking what opportunity is out there. Um, really quickly, they realized, oh, this is a lot of work. I don't want to do this. So Jared and I became the sole owners of the title company. Um, yet again, all of that happened through what? Through, yes, being there. Through bold and connections. What else? Nailing the real estate business. So I'm gonna, I'm a little bit ahead of myself. Nailing the real estate business makes everything else happen. So like this opportunity map is wonderful, yet what's at the bottom of it? It's the cornerstone. It is the foundation. Nothing else matters until you yourself are closing 50 plus units a year. 
Like you gotta be that stealth agent at the bottom on which everything else builds. Okay, Taylor, don't choke. Um, so you can see at the top, title company. Okay, along the time of the title company, man, we're kicking it. Okay, we're doing over a hundred deals a year at the real estate company, which is another uh, stream of income. Bold is happening. And I'm coaching people and I'm in the room with all these top bold coaches. And I mean, Jake Ginger, he owns 200 doors. This coach owns 100 doors. I mean, you just start to get around all of these big, big thinkers and you think, honey, we don't own any doors except the one we sleep in and walk through every evening, okay? Um, so then we started picking up rental properties. And then another rental property, another rental. We're on under contract right now for our eighth rental property. And the first one that we ever found, guess who we found it through? KW agent, Heidi Joy, who I met in Gold. And I said, I'd love to be on Indian Rocks Beach. It's such a cute beach town. If you ever come across something, maybe a pocket listing. So she texted Jared and I this property and said, hey, it's not mine. It's not a pocket listing yet. I think it's a crazy good deal with a little TLC. It could be a cute Airbnb rental. Never would have found it, wasn't, I mean, it was on the radar, yet she's the vehicle that made it happen, okay? Um, so rental properties every year, building that portfolio at the same time. Um, okay, so then the next phase of life is the market center level, okay? Market center level. Um, for about two years, we've been in dialogue with the region, okay? How did the conversation start with the region? Um, it's funny, <laughs> did I coach Adrian Sabatino? Yes, I did in the bold room. Wow. Okay, the world gets smaller, okay? Um, Adrian's a former uh, operating principal here. Um, yeah, what, um, oh, what was my question? What? Yeah, how does the conversation start with the region? Yeah, being a top agent. How else? You write it down, write it down, write it down. I have people that was, that have come to me like, hey, why didn't you consider me for this opportunity? Hey, why didn't, what about this? Or I would have liked to have been a part of that. And I will say, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I know that now. You guys, the universe gives back to you what you put out to it. So I said, Nikki Ubaldini, Mark Olish, Howard Weinstein, here's what Jared and I are interested in doing. How can we partner with you? How can we serve the region for year after year after year to earn the right to be considered for an opportunity? And you guys, I have driven to regional meetings, to Fort Lauderdale, to all these places to be an advocate on panels and bold and just anything the region asked for many years to earn the right to really ask that, to make that request, okay? You know, it's like the kid's book, the buckets, you gotta pour in, be a bucket filler before you could be a bucket dipper, okay? Um, yet, oftentimes in life, I, I think that we don't put out there what we're looking for. We don't ask for it. And so the conversation was, we're really interested in market center ownership. And so they said, great, here's the regional calendar. We expect you to be on every single call. We expect you on your own dime to travel to all these events, to you know, coach with these people, to teach at the market center, to do all of these things. And guess what we did? Showed up, okay, did what they asked. So that's one thing I'd ask that was a big takeaway for me in preparing this. Each of these opportunities didn't really start happening until I raised my hand in a bold room and said, I want to be a bold coach. And John Prescott said, you want to be a bold coach? I said, I am a bold coach. Because, you know, in affirmations, you don't say want. You just say, I am. And then I said, I am. And he said, great, you and your husband stay after class. Boom, I auditioned the next week. I had that desire in my heart for years before that. I never put it out there and I never asked. You know, ask and you shall. You got it. I think you guys heard that before. Um, so then for us, the market center opportunity only came 
a couple of different ways. The right relationships were created in a bold room many years ago. Okay, that contact, Adrian and I stayed in contact as referral partners and relationship. Um, yet financially, do you think there was a big commitment that Jared and I had to be ready to, to make? Yeah, where do you think that financial uh, liquid ability came from? Do you know, everything goes back to what? Yeah, do you know why it was okay to open our own title company in Tampa Bay? Because I knew we had the listings to feed the title company. You guys see everything comes back to the real estate agent business. And I'm not saying it has to be you. It doesn't have to be you, yet you have to master the who's in your world so that you can find the leverage to build up the business so you're not the one actually doing it um, so that you can have these other opportunities as an hand, okay? Um, and then obviously with the market center, being a market center investor brings other opportunities, title company investing, mortgage company investing. Um, I, I mean, through Keller Williams, you guys know, um, like we, um, we had Heather come and share her staging company. Like you have 300 agents sitting right here in front of you. Do you have something to create to offer? Do you have a home inspection company? Do you have a, a, a cool thing, an app, a tool, something? You guys have the advantage of the massive volume of agents that Keller Williams has. Gary Keller pushes us all the time. What can you create? to push through and sell to our agents who desperately need the products that you've created, okay? Um, not, you know, think about a company that only has 100 agents. Do you have that same opportunity? No, okay, because what if one person, well, your business is not doing well, okay? Um, so all of that started, just FYI, in the last 10 years. I did not have a real estate license 10 years ago. My husband, when we went to a closing for our own stuff, I was like, let's just say, push, push hard, sign three copies, press hard, okay? Um, so we've hit on this, and yet I thought this was kind of funny. <laughs> Don't ever lose sight of Golden Egg. I remember John Prescott that time, he was the director of Bold, an amazing human being, and that week that Jared and I stayed after class and met with him, that was his, the one thing he said. I don't care about you doing this. I think you would be amazing at it. What I want to know is how does your real estate business continue to thrive and grow if you step into this opportunity? Because what did he care about more than anything? The success and through that success, what it does for our family, what it did for Jared, myself, the kids, um, because you know, look, look at, and here, here's the wisdom in that that I didn't even see. What if bold was my only stream of income in a global pandemic hit? Yeah, our bold coach group went from like 50 something coaches down to 18. Because unfortunately that was probably the vast majority of their singular solo income. And it wasn't gonna cut it, okay? Um, so don't ever lose sight of the golden egg, which is your real estate business. How do you not lose sight of it? Yep. So have systems and procedures. There's a, a book that if you master it, you can do whatever you want. It's called the MREA. It's a red book. If you do not read it quarterly, I recommend constantly put it on audible. And when you're out for a walk, when you're in the car, I'm listening to MREA all the time. And now I hear it through the market center lens. I mean, Morgan probably wants to smack me because everything really starts with, well, on our real estate team, when we communicate like this, can we do that at the market center level? Because what's the lens that I see everything through? The bottom, the agent. And you know, I don't think it's that bad because what does Gary Keller say is gonna be on his headstone? realtor because none of the other stuff would have happened without that and it's just not going away okay it will never go away because we also create big lives for other people all right 
Uh, so when I stepped in the bold coach opportunity, I had an amazing coach, head coach named Scott Toombs. I love him dearly. And the first time I sat down and met with him, I'm like, okay, where are the scripts and the manuals? I'm ready to start learning and studying. And he said, I have a better question for you. I was like, okay. And he, he said, what are your five streams of income? Like, well, I'm hoping that bold is going to be one of them. He's like, nope, it's not yet. What else do you have? So, well, our real estate company uh, and profit share. And um, that's about it. And he said, okay, here's our goal. Within the next one year, you're going to have five buckets. Five buckets. And I want each of them producing you $200,000 net or more a year. Jeff, I did the same thing. I like choked a little bit when he said that. And I started sweating, like, where am I going to find a job that is going to give me $2,000? What I didn't know is I was about to get into a room with the biggest thinkers. I mean, regional directors like Mark Olish are both coaches. And I'm on a call with them every Friday, learning and thinking. And they're all investors, market center owners. They're doing all these side businesses. There's so many things happening. And what he was wise enough was to help me have a frame of reference of what I needed to look for. So I wanna ask you the same thing. And, and I hope that it makes you sweat a little bit, okay? What are your five buckets that can produce for you easily $200,000 or more? What side gig, what hustle, what different thing can you do to create that opportunity? Well, we know profit share is a pretty darn easy one, okay? Uh, Nico from Disappearing Cap, what did he make just this week? 6,700, whatever, whatever, okay? D disappearing Cap, you guys, there's money out there everywhere. The problem is when we stop grabbing for it. Somebody was making those buckets worth of income before I ever started, okay? So he helped me think, okay, so Bold is one, your real estate team is one, uh, profit sharing is another one. Then he's like, what are you investing in? So that's when the real estate investing started and the title company. All of that happened the very first year in bold. One year, boom, five streams of income. Do you know why? Because I was looking for him. I was thinking about where can I find another stream of income? Who can I partner with? What can I, what spec houses can I build? Who can I get into relationship with? How can I leverage the the resources the tools god's given me to create additional streams of income okay so think through that this opportunity map has way more than five buckets okay there are great team leaders that have, that are team leaders and they have massive real estate empires in production that also are real estate portfolio investors that are also market center owners that are also and 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 and, and okay so here is the opportunity map. And what I'm going to do, uh, Angela is on here with me. She will email it out, um, or I guess we can just post it in the, the Facebook page. Every single one of these, if you're anything like me, you want to kind of dig into it, has a hyperlink that has a job description to it. So see, like click on bold, and you can go to... Um, well, I'll update this. It's to go, we can set it up to be a boldcoach.com. Yeah, let me use team leader is probably a better one. Oh, it was on there? Oh, look. Hey, you want to talk about leverage? You know who put this together? Not me. Not me. My assistant, Angela, did. She's Angela, are you on the call? She yes, I am. She loves when I put her on the spot. Do you guys see how she created this? She is leveraged for me so that the time, the hours I would have spent hyperlinking, preparing, what, what was I doing, not doing this? Probably very different money-making activities, okay? So like here's a market center productivity coach. Here's the job title, the job description, who is it, who are we looking for? knowledge skills this is the kpa matches and traits 
So you guys have this, you will have this. Okay, Angela, if you'll put it in the uh, Market Center Facebook page for both uh, Naples and Marco, that'd be awesome. Um, every single one is on here. So uh, KW approved faculty. How do you get there? Oh, look. What do you need to do to be a KW approved faculty? Boom, it's right there. Take train the presenter. Which who's taking train the presenter? Yeah, how is train the presenter? Yeah, how is it? It is amazing. Yeah. So train the FBS is FBS off of it separately or is it? In other words, there's FBS and there's KW, you know, or they did. They're separate, yet many um, are in both. Yeah, they are separate. That's another one I didn't even put on this because it's regional specific. But do you have to do do this once or you all do work for both? Train the presenter. One I'm not an FBS. One course, so one course. It just happens to be FBS instructor or like colleagues teaches it. But it's still KW. The KW program, yeah, yeah. correct. But that's a different. Um, so train the presenter, I'll tell you, I don't know if you guys know this, I have a, a two master's degrees in education, okay, one in elementary ed K-12, or uh, general education K-12, and the other one in educational leadership. I was nervous as all get out to do train the presenter, because it is literally, did you tell a story, did you use a personal example, did you make eye contact, did you circulate the room? Did you ask people the right questions? Did you go deeper on the questions? I mean, it was how to be a phenomenal instructor. And this is from an education major. Like, it stressed me out. That's the high level of training that we offer in this company. That was phenomenal. I think of Antoinette Perez and Holly. And um, I haven't taken it with Dick Dillingham yet. I heard it's amazing with him as well. Tough. It's tough. Um, so all of these have hyperlinks. So if you have any interest in any of these, how do I get there? What, what do I do? What are some of the prerequisites? You can use this as a little bit of a roadmap. And then once you do some research, what do you think you could do from there? I love it. Interview people. Our leadership team knows, am I interviewing people all the time? all the OPs, team leaders, coaches, constantly interviewing. How'd you get to where you are now? Because I wanna get there and I wanna get there faster than you got there. I don't wanna have to figure it all out, okay? All of these things you're saying is because of the, it's because for a sharing company. Yes. You don't go to, well, I don't go to Brand X and get, and, and get their opportunity, right? People aren't going to help you the way people in our company. That's, that, I think that's one thing that sets us apart from really every other real estate company. So online, for those of you just, could you hear Jeff when he was talking? I'll repeat it just in case. Oh. Okay, thank you. Um, so what Jeff was saying is so apt for this conversation interview people who are already where you're at and our company is a company of sharing. So they're going to say yes, okay? I remember a cute young couple, maybe our second or third year in at our market center said, can I take you and Jared to lunch? Like we're a, a couple and we're just getting into this and we wanna do what you're doing. And like, it's so cool. And we're like, yeah, sure. Where are you taking us to? Let's get something good. So they bought our lunch and they had I mean, page after page of questions. And I mean, specific questions. And I was like, uh oh, babe, I think we're looking at our new competition. <laughs> and literally, it wasn't even six months later, they were ahead of us on the leaderboard. And I was like, oh, let's go, it's on. <laughs> and at the same time, I was so happy for them for that month that they beat us. And then, where are they now? Where are they now? Yeah. Well, anyway, so. Uh, that, you know, sometimes it's good to have a little stoking in your fire, right? Uh, and we're super, I remember Michelle Herndon, she's a top agent at Ben Kinney Place. I asked her, you know, how do you get into luxury? How are you doing all this waterfront? Same thing, she took us to lunch or I, we took her to lunch and 
pick your brain. That that is the heart of our company. Okay. Um, I liked this one. I, I liked the way that this one looked a little bit differently. I found it online. I thought it was a little cleaner to see agent, uh, you know, and how it moves. So this will be on the PowerPoint deck that we put on um, our private Facebook page. It's from another market center if it has branding on it. Yeah, I really liked the path. Um, we didn't even talk about expansion team, expansion agents. You know, once you master Naples or Marco, well, what's the next closest area, ink dot wise, that you can spread to? Um, so that you maybe you're just growing your real estate business and then, you know, other companies through that or leaders through that. I really liked the way that this one looked. Um, so a couple of things, and then I'm really going to uh, ask you guys to do something in just a second and then open it up for questions. Um, I loved this. I've heard Mark Payne say this many times. He'll say, are you open to a great career or a great year? Because we're not here really about a great year. Okay, this year shifting market, um, you might be 5% behind last year. I pray you don't. I pray you're taking more market share. And yet that that is not, we're not losing sight of where we're going here. This is a big opportunity. Um, more wealth is passed through and held in real estate than any other industry. Okay, so that's the question. What are you in for? Great career. Great career. A great career. Uh, the average wealthy person spends eight hours a month planning around their net worth. A broke person. Zero. And it's kind of funny and it's a little bit of a zinger. And yet the reality is, do you think Jared and I spend a ton of time in planning? Yeah, you have to, to keep all of these things straight. Every Friday afternoon, Angela sends me a text. She came to me when I was a bold coach. So she calls me coach and she says, coach, your 411 is not ready for next week. I'm like, okay, okay, fine, let's do it. That's the planning time. That's the focus. Jared and I meet every Wednesday morning for 30 minutes to talk about the performance of the different companies. What are we doing? How, what do we need to work on? Who are we looking to hire every single week? Morgan and I meet every week. Jordis and I meet every week because does their performance impact Jared and I, Jared and I our opportunity? Yeah, does us meeting together impact their opportunities? Yeah, absolutely. It's time. What you focus on expands, okay? Um, so don't be the broke person, zero, all right? Your business grows to the extent that you do. Here's what I want you to do. Take this interactive hyperlinked PowerPoint, click on it, research it, study it, and then create your calendar for the next year of growth. What class are you going to sign up for in, uh, so next week I'm taking, or no, tomorrow. Man, I'm going to get this day right sometime. Tomorrow I'm taking 30, 60, 90 in Clearwater, okay? Uh, Jason, are you going to be there? Uh, no. Okay. Because I'm paying somebody else to do it. I love hired, it. I hired Laura Elton, that's the very love, so love it. I love it. <laughs> so I'm taking that because it aligns with growing and retaining people. Um, July 12th, we're taking expansion systems orientation, ESO, that aligns with where we're going. Read through all of these different classes that are involved in this. And what am I doing in July? What am I doing in August, September, October? We have a leadership council or a um, leadership academy that we're going to be launching soon. I'm teasing it. Morgan and Jeff said I can't give all the details out, yet I'm teasing it. If you have interest in being in leadership at the market center level or even outside of that in a team or an organization, uh, we're going to have a leadership academy right here with our own agents um, to foster that leadership growth. We're super excited about it. Jeff's done a lot of work to get it ready um, because truly not to be like a super weird person. I was, I, I've always been spiritual. I've always been you know, my, my husband, my kids um, come first. You know, I think I'm a pretty decent human being. And yet I will tell you 10 years ago to now, I'm a very different person, like a, like a very different person because of Keller Williams and thinking bigger. 
And that thinking bigger didn't happen the first month, yet it happened the second bold, the third bold, this maps coach, Scott Toombs asking about those five buckets. I mean, I literally remember the sweat, like how do you even do that? My husband is flying to Austin uh, at the end of July for a wealth building class with Jason Abrams and a couple other guys. Do you know what he has to bring with him to this wealth building class? his plan to have a net worth of $50 million. $50 million. We have one for 20. Yet be in the room with people that are thinking bigger and doubling and tripling your thinking. When you get into the classes that are on all of those hyperlinks, that's how it happens, okay? Your business and everything grows to the extent that you do. So here's what I'm going to ask um, for those of you that are online, um, Angela, will you drop this link in the chat box um, so that people can directly click on it? Oh, what's the best way for us to do it? Click it. Oh, you can click it? <gasps> Genius. I love smart people. So I don't know what Jason said. I pray works. Just take a picture of it and put it close and you can click on it. <sighs> Yes. Get my best angle, people. No. Get on the channel. <gasps> A whole new world. <laughs> you watch a lot of movies. Oh, yes. Life for me is a song. Usually it's 90s rap. I'm working on it. Um, so here's what I'm going to ask. If you will please click on that link um, because nothing would give our leadership team greater pleasure than knowing where you're going so that we can push you to get there. You can have the Scott Tombs in your life that looks like Morgan, Jordis, Jeff, myself, uh, Eric, Nikki, to say, hey, Bold Coach was on the road. Have you signed up for Train the Presenter? Hey, what are you doing to march in this direction? Online, did you hear me? Are you clicking on the link? Oh, look, all 11 are there. Oh, we got a chat. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> well, which one? Um, let's see. KW Master Classes. So that is once you teach uh, at the market center level, and then you teach at the regional level, then you be, so that's, there's 37 market centers in South Florida. Once you are approved to teach at the regional level, then you audition to be a Keller Williams University master faculty member who can teach all around the world. Click it, yes. You're gonna click it. Taylor, what are you clicking? All the good stuff. Yeah. Well, your name's on it, so I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see it. Is your phone not working? I took a picture of it. Well, you gotta do it. Because if you don't do it now, it's not gonna happen later and oh, you know it. Now, now. Uh, but now, now. Okay, once you took a picture of it, what did you do with it? Open the picture. And so go to photos. <clears throat> Open the picture and put it away. You might have to hold it down. Yep. Google the word forms. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Just click on it, but hold it. It should give you something to open it. If you take a picture of it, it will yeah. really give you a pop up window that says you yeah. want to open this link. Do you guys all have the iPhone 19s or what? Yeah, yeah. Well, you better get it. Me too. Right. <laughs> So as you guys are clicking through, truly, this was just 
an awareness class. Uh, here's what is available to you. Uh, we want to partner with you. That's why I asked you to click through it. So we, we at least know so I can say, hey, how's this coming? How are you doing with this? You know, what are you thinking about? Um, what questions do you guys have? Yes. What's your favorite for lunch? Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. Text me. We'll be okay, we'll yeah, up. Yeah, anytime. That that answer goes to everyone on this uh, in this room and online. Anytime. I would love it. I am going to. Nope, no. Nope. Your relationships with you is relational currency number one. What else? What other questions do you have? Online, how are we doing? Yes. Can you tell us when, the, so what's your family? So working with you, what I've, I've learned a lot on is, because there used to be the way it was one thing or the other. Like I did when I took this role in September, for example, I was like, okay, I have to choose now be a realtor or be leadership. And it, it took some training with you to realize where that could go and everything else. I'm um, saying, so, and obviously using four on ones and leverage, I'm seeing how this is all possible. Can you just share how you can get it, make sure you're working to your family? And yourself as yeah. Yeah. So we have, a, again, in the planning piece, we have some non-negotiables um, and it's for us is every, so two, every, two times a month or every other week, um, we, Jared and I are going to go on a date and we individually date one kid a month. So like this month, it's my daughter. Okay. And the reason it's my daughter is all three boys are at camp with my husband this week. So in theory, he's really dating Landon, who he's his camp counselor, okay? Um, and, and we already have that every single month in our 411. Like he, it's on his, it's on mine. And so the question is, when are we doing it? Let's block it in the calendar at the beginning of the month, okay? And then with our kids, it's purposely, okay, who are we focusing on for that individual one-on-one? -on -one? There's four of them, so we can't do it all the time. Um, just we plan as much for our family as we do for our businesses. And we have said many times, um, again, I'm, I, I only, I don't push my faith on anyone. Being a person of faith though, I have felt very convicted that God will honor our businesses when we honor the priorities that we believe in. And for us, it is God, family, and then business. And so when we start to get a little overbooked, um, I'll give you an example. As a bold coach for Mega Camp and Family Reunion, you have to go a day or two early. You have to stay. You have to do things. And I remember saying to Scott at one point, I can't do this. Like, my family is suffering. I'm still signing business. And I'm on this team. And I just, I can't do this. So if I have to quit the bold team, I'm okay to quit the bold team. And he said, Amber, be authentic. It's God, family, and business in all times. If you know that this is not okay for your family to miss out, then you need to stand up for what's right. He's like, I guarantee no one's going to fire you. And so I did. We've always just been um, a little brazen about it. At listing appointments, I've always said, Mr. Seller, appointments on Saturday, uh, Saturdays are by appointments only, and Sundays are reserved for faith, family, and friends. Don't worry. If we get a contract, something happens, yes, I'm going to look at it on Sunday, and yet I'm setting the precedence that you're not going to call me for showing feedback on Sunday at 2 o'clock, okay? It's also going to push me to have great systems in place so that, that the person who does the open house, for us, the expectation is... You leave all the feedback on the counter for the seller so that if you're an agent that holds one of my properties open, you don't leave with nothing. You leave my seller with a thank you note. You leave them with the, the feedback from the open house and it's formatted about pricing, about features, about um, anything that they could ask me. And then Amber is going to call you on Monday to review this. Like we've created some big systems so that Sunday is our day, okay? Um, we've also created leverage though so that agents on our team, they're not off on Sunday, they're off on Tuesday, they're off on Wednesday, and we've got them covered, okay? So you schedule everything, you're saying? 100%. And, and think your assistant is changing a little bit on the dog, changing it is not, it's like stuff comes up, mm -hmm. right? you like make sure you have time. 
like she also says gymnastics and it's painful to move and take her to whatever. And how do you roll the punches as much? She's still safe, she's all the time. She's young, she's mm -hmm. a lot of like, babysitters that like rely on it. Or not, or, I mean, we definitely have help. Um, we also have, I mean, people know that when they hire us, they're hiring a family business. So Addison, uh, the rental property that we just recently put under contract, she went with me to the home inspection. And I was like, Addison, meet Mike Perez. He's an agent, just like mommy and daddy. Do you have any questions for Mr. Mike? And she's so cute. She stood right up, shook his hand. I mean, they have gone with us to listing appointments. I mean, not to gross you out, I breastfed our kids. Like I have been on a listing appointment with a shawl on. Like it is, that is just who we are. And you either do want to be in business with someone like us or you don't. And either way, I'm good with it. So, and a lot of times there's a question that I really urge you to get out of your vocabulary. And it is this question, Mr. Seller, Miss Buyer, what time works for you? When is best for you? I'm never going to ask someone that. Because I can tell you, like guaranteed, they're going to say the exact time that I'm supposed to be at my daughter's theater. Like they're going to say that exact time. So you need to know your calendar and you need to know when you have white space and for you to say, oh, that's fantastic. I cannot wait to meet with you. How is today at one o'clock, tomorrow at four or seven? You give them the choices that work for you every single time. They still feel like they have choice, yet it works for your family. Uh, we have a luxury listing right now that is listing agent must accompany. Okay, now, don't ever recommend it. It does happen. It is not on showing time. It is not anything. So that buyer's agent must call directly to my husband so that my husband can tell them, yeah, that time's not gonna work for me. He had to show it twice. And this weekend, he stacked them. He was already showing at seven o'clock. The person's like, I'd like to do one o'clock. He's like, how is six o'clock? That's the time that works for the seller. Because really, the seller doesn't want to be in and out. So it, it is constantly thinking about how do you put your family first? When you give people options, they will bend to fit. Sorry, I have an appointment at that time. They don't need to know it's doing my daughter's homework with her. Um, and yes, I do leverage out everything that I do not want to do so that I can spend time with my kiddos. We leverage laundry, we leverage cooking, grocery shopping. Um, Angela sends me typically on Fridays, do you need groceries for the weekend? Sometimes I will look at cookbooks and find, I love to cook. I just don't like all of the thinking, the list, the organizing, the grocery store. I don't like any of that stuff, okay? I like the Merlot and the <laughs> frying pan, okay? That's what I like. And she will, I'll send her a couple of recipes. She will Instacart it, order it, have it delivered so that I can get the most out of my time, which is hanging with my family. What else? Great questions. How did you do that in the beginning? If you couldn't learn uh, I, you guys have heard me. It's like a broken record. You cannot lighten the load until you feel the weight of carrying it. You cannot lighten the load until you feel the weight of carrying it. I don't have any job today that I have not done myself already once. So at the admin, I've been the transaction coordinator, the title company, not that I ever choose to close a file in the state of Florida and write a title policy, do I have my title license? Yep, I sure do. Um, like I've done every job that I have then leveraged someone to do for me. And I've done it long enough until I earn the right. I perform at the highest level to say, I'm gonna do the 20% of this job. And then you, I'm gonna hire someone to do the 80% of it. So like in the title company, I meet with the lady who runs our title company once a week for 30 minutes. Sometimes if she's struggling, maybe an hour, okay? It wasn't that way at first. I used to go to that office any day I wasn't coaching bold. I was learning the files. I was doing the different things. I couldn't, couldn't get out until I had really immersed myself in it. Same thing with the agent job. What else? And you're quiet today. Just taking it in. Online, any questions? 
So truly, um, you know, we said it before, ask and you shall receive. If there are things you're interested in doing, if there is, so let's say you're like, you know what, I want market center ownership. Great, do you want me to tell you the path to market center ownership? Recruit five capping agents and we will have a conversation about market center ownership. Okay, there's a path to everything. Do you want to become a math coach? Great. Uh, I mean, Nico, I pretty much strong armed almost into becoming a, a coach. Okay. John McLeod, ask him. He sends me videos of himself recording parts of bold and I give him feedback. I truly genuinely mean your leadership team wants to partner with you to get you wherever you desire to go. Um, you just got to let us know. Okay. And then obviously sometimes time there's not an infinite amount of time. And so the partnership might be great. I think you're going to be awesome at it. Come back to me when you've taken train the presenter one and two and passed it. I want to see you coaching on the market center calendar. I want to see you doing this. Might not be spending three hours with you. And yet we're going to gear you in the right direction. Point you in the right direction. Anything else? Look, and we got you out five minutes early. So tell me, I'd love to keep doing this class in the future. Um, anything that you think we could do differently, tweak, adjust, do more of, what was helpful in seeing the opportunity map? I like the new one. I like yeah, I like the layout of that one too. It's more of a, it's easier to understand, I feel like. Yep, I like that. So they were saying in the room, it's easier to kind of see this map and understand it. I like that. I'll present tools at the one and how we utilize it to move everything forward. We have a lot of things. Good. So Jordis was saying, um, really focus on this piece right here. The business, your business grows to the extent that you do, because all of the uh, hyperlinks have the classes, the trainings, the books to read. All of that goes on your four hundred one and your growth plan. Hundred percent. I love it. What else? Awesome. How many of you filled out the uh, the link? You did it. Did it, Sam? Oh, he's so present. I love it. All right. Online, any questions? All right. Well, have an awesome day. You guys know where to find us. I can't wait to read your responses. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. You're welcome.